Good morning. Experts go back and forth debating whether China has yet caught up to Western countries when it comes to the speed and the performance of the high-end chips that make artificial intelligence possible. Most experts now concede, though, that in large language models, Chinese companies are at least at parity and far ahead in cost. But we have maintained from the beginning that China is far, far ahead when it comes to industrial applications for AI. It's everywhere we go here and it's everywhere we look and it's transforming Chinese industries, making them much more efficient and innovative and profitable. That is showing up in unexpected places. China is the biggest coal miner in the world. Coal is still crucial to China's electricity production. 93% of the world's new construction for coal power is here in China. The government approved 66 gigawatts of new coal capacity last year, which is the equivalent to about 66 new coal power plants. Those data make these charts here slightly misleading. On a percentage basis of new power generated, coal is falling with solar, hydro, and wind rising fast. But it's this chart that's more important. Total electricity output is soaring. So that entire power generation mix is rising in absolute terms. Coal prices are falling globally, so we should expect coal mines to be less profitable since this is such a labor and capital intensive industry. But Chinese coal companies are adopting AI across their operations and showing higher profit margins than Morgan Stanley. Shanxi is a huge coal mining part of China and the CEO of Dahazia mine made an all-or-nothing bet on AI. Artificial and 5G telecom is everywhere in their operation and it's now the smartest coal mine ever built. The company has fewer than 1,000 employees processing 20 million tons of coal output per year. So that workforce is tiny given that production volume. They need fewer people because the machines do everything. Robots, autonomous tunneling, coal extraction, loading the rail cars. A small crew of four is enough to identify new coal seams and start digging them out. Drones are used to inspect shafts in eight minutes compared to hours in traditional mines self-driving trucks everywhere, underground and above. ZTE is another of the companies under sanction by the United States. The objective of our sanctions was to cripple this company, as our policymakers believe that Huawei and ZTE and others were dependent on the United States and European markets to survive. But here they are, helping this coal mine book more profits than our own biggest investment banks. For this mine, they built the industry's first underground 5G system. The mine has zero latency. The time it takes data to move back and forth between the equipment and the operators is zero. Coal prices in China dropped 18% last year, yet this mine earned over a billion U.S. dollars. That's one million dollars in profits per employee. And to our point before, this is becoming common across all blue-collar industries here. And it's going to be a major problem for these industries everywhere else. China is automating fast. It's energy, steel and metals, chemicals, manufacturing. The efficiencies are rising even while commodity prices fall. Chinese companies can make money even while these prices are going down. And we should say that these automation efficiencies are pushing down the prices in the first place. The big competition in this space, industrial artificial intelligence, is now between Huawei and ZTE. These are the companies building out those new technologies here in China. 
So in order to stay competitive, companies outside China need to build their own AI, their own smart technologies, 5G everywhere across their operations. But our companies aren't allowed to buy anything from Huawei or ZTE, and the other telecom companies can't get the gallium to build 5G systems. This is Changsha. Be good. Love your neighbor as yourself. 